Capricorn. Happy New Year's Eve to you. Today we're going to take a look at the Aces for 2024. Those new opportunities that are coming towards us or we're creating for ourselves. But also do keep in mind the Aces can often represent renewed energy. Those opportunities we already put time, energy, and effort into. And we keep doing them ideally because they work for us. So I should see a mix of both. Ongoing stuff and what does that look like? And then new, new. We're going to start with the Ace of Swords truths and or insights you are prepared to accept at the beginning of the year. More often than not, this is where I see things like New Year's resolutions. Let's see that Ace of Swords, please. Let's see that Ace of Swords. Show me that Ace of Swords, please, for Capricorn. Once more, happy birthday to all my Capricorns out there. Enjoy it now because we'll be in Aquarius season before you know it. Mm -hmm. Time is fleeting, guys. Time is fleeting. Nine of Cups, Justice. Good, good, good. You are really psyched up for yourself this year. This is great. I like this. It's optimistic, it's light, but it's also balanced. You're saying that you intend to round yourself out really well this year, to focus more on what pleases you, wish fulfillment at the personal level, Nine of Cups. Remember, what it is that you wish for is meant to be a reflection of how you love yourself. So the more that you understand you love yourself, the more likely it is that you can fulfill your own wishes that are healthy and correct for you. And just... Okay, justice. And with the Queen of Wands. So here we have a little bit of everything. The passion, the determination, the forthright, trailblazing, sense of balance through the whole thing. Not too much here or there, just right. Nine of Cups, again, sense of wish fulfillment, personal pleasure. And your Nine of Cups should be a reflection of you and how you love yourself. And if you know these things about yourself, okay, then you are showing me high levels of self-satisfaction confidence, justice, in a very rounded sense, a healthy, happy Capricorn who is very much invested in self-fulfillment so long as it's correct. In other words, it's not just, this makes me feel good so I'll pursue whatever. No, the healthiest form of you, okay? And but what best represents your interests at the personal level, your sense of determination, self-fulfilling destiny, but again, in a balanced way. So it's very healthy. <clears throat> I like that. You really want to be your healthiest, most fulfilling self this year. Rounded out. Determined. I would even say tenacious. But not so far out there <laughs> that you lose sight of yourself. So usually I'm really going to fulfill my own wishes this year. I am. But just so long as they're correct. Right? Bounce out that intensity with sincerity. I like it. I like that. It's a good approach to you. And again, this is at the mental level. Ace of Swords. You already kind of have a game plan for yourself and what it is you intend to look like for 2024. I like the way you're dressed up. Go. Okay. I like that energy that's around you and in you. It's beautiful. Let's see the Ace of Wands. Any new forms of passion, hope, light, creativity. Ace of Wands. Show me that Ace of Wands, please. For Capricorn. Show me that Ace of Wands, please. For Capricorn. Show me. The Ace of Wands, please, for Capricorn. Ah, Death, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Hey, 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 interesting. That's very interesting. I kind of like that. I know that sounds weird, <laughs> but I've been doing this a long time. So, uh, Ace of Wands, Death, Two of Pentacles, and Seven of Cups. I know that sounds ludicrous, but here's the thing. It's kind of like you're saying, I'm not going to get my hopes up for nonsense. And thus, you actually spare yourself a lot of healthy energy. Again, it's like redirect it to personal wish fulfillment and things will fall into place. You're saying, do not, I will not, Christina, waste any time, energy, and effort on being confused in love or otherwise. If it's not realistic, if it doesn't make sense, if it doesn't show up correctly in a way that I can understand, it's, it's gone. I'm not going to waste any energy on it. I want to save my Ace of Wands to the best of what I have to put out there for myself. Not a bunch of confusing, wishy-washy, hot and cold bullshit. Yeah? And when we do things like that, when we make those kind of decisions, we end up freeing remarkable amounts of energy that is better directed elsewhere. So you're saying the days of confusing options in love and I don't know, is it going to go somewhere? Is it going to mean something? Are they going to say yes? Is it hot and cold, hot and cold? It's like if the temperature is lukewarm, 
I don't want anything to do with it. If it's cold or any variation of cold is gone, we are going to nix, completely cut out anything that's the temperature, if you will, is lukewarm or under. It needs to be warmer than that. <laughs> You're saying you won't participate in any nonsense that's confusing, nor should you. Um, and I have this talk, speaking of death, Scorpio, all the time, you know. Uh, don't entertain stuff that isn't immediately obvious, upfront, or honest. Otherwise, there's no point. It's going to be a road to nowhere. So don't entertain roads to nowhere, you know. Uh, that's exactly what I'm saying here. Do not entertain the confusing. Okay? The emotionally insecure, the murkiness, the shallowness, don't entertain it. If it's not immediately upfront, obvious, available, or honest... That's it. Dishonesty here in this context is created by, I don't know what I want. I feel something, but mm, I'm not convinced one way or the other. Okay, then go away someone else this time. That's where the dishonesty comes in. Um, if you can't, if it just insistence upon confusion. You're saying you want to entertain it, nor should you. It's such a waste of energy. It's such a, don't, just don't. Obviously it's better directed elsewhere. So there's just some things you will not be showing renewed energy for. Any kind of side romantic interest that won't really reveal itself or it's not taking shape. Stuff that's wishy-washy, people that are wishy-washy, whatever. You won't entertain it. You're not renewing it anymore. You're dropping any options that are indeed options. If they don't present themselves as a solid figure, eh. There you go. All right, very good. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. I could definitely have more fun spinning that out and seeing where it's coming from, the origin story, but you already know that. All right, Ace of Pentacles, I like your focus at the beginning of the year. I want you to keep that focus. It will serve you well. Ace of Pentacles, please. Some of the Ace of Pentacles, some of the Ace of Pentacles, some of the Ace of Pentacles. Some of the Ace of Pentacles, please. Any good investments? New investments, please? The Knight of Wands, Two of Wands, making decisions, Ace of Swords, tying it back to your truth. If there are, It's interesting, your Ace of Wands, you're literally tying it back to your opening. When it comes to things like job, career, monetary value, material world, you're saying, I'm going to refer back to point A. Okay, that's clever enough. It's like, if it makes sense to me, and I want to take it on, then I will. Otherwise, I'm fine where I'm at. I think that's a great game plan. It's almost like saying if there are new opportunities that are afforded to me, I don't see you going out of your way to create one. But you're saying if one comes up that looks right, feels right, and is a good reflection of me, again, you're referring me back to your Ace of Swords. If it's a good, healthy reflection of me that's in a balanced place, then I will accept it. I will take it up for the offer that it is. And um, you won't hesitate on that. You'll make the decision sooner rather than later. So literally, the, the equivalent here, the Ace of Pentacles, is something good comes up, and I know it's a good fit for me, I'll take it. Again, referring me back to point A. <laughs> That's very clever. I appreciate that. I do. I appreciate that. I get that energy, too. It's like, eh, that could be a good opportunity. And when you have that feeling and you can kind of see it at its face value, it's honest, it's straightforward, you don't hesitate, right? You just launch into it. Um, again, referring me back to point A. So no, I don't see you forging new opportunities, but you will be happy to consider one if it looks right, feels right, or is right. Okay? Excellent. I think that's straightforward. Beautiful. Ace of Cups. Any new energies there? I see what you won't be entertaining. No renewed energy. In other words, not forcing yourself to have hope to these loose, insecure, hot and cold. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't attachment. So I agree with you. It's such a waste of time. Uh, don't entertain that crap ever. It just, it like I said, it's a road to nowhere. So, are there any solid cups, please, for Capricorn? Solid cups, please, for Capricorn. Let's see that Ace of Cups, please. Are there any solid new cups for Capricorn? Five of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Fool. Mm. Okay. You're going to go through a point of resistance. 
I don't see you triggering, and I'm sorry, an Ace of Cups right away. You are actively resisting that on purpose. I think I know why. I think. It's a theory. I'm not seeing. Without further clarification, I'm going on theory here, and then also experience with the cards. Uh, your opening was very straightforward. So was your Ace of Wands. When it comes to your Ace of Cups, are you interested in new love? Yeah. Are you resisting it at the beginning of the year? Absolutely. Okay, Five of Wands. That's active resistance to new love. I don't see you engaging in it, and I'll tell you why. Uh, Ace of Wands. At some point in the new year, you will cut ties with any loose attachments. In other words, like I said, not solid. Can't stand up correctly. Represent itself well. Can't speak up for itself, or it's dishonest, or it doesn't understand itself at all. Okay? Um... I have. I see that you have not gotten rid of those yet. You will. I, I don't know how many perspectives you have in this set of cups. I know it's enough that you're not interested in any of them. I don't know if it's one person or a couple, but you don't see any of them as being a long-term investment, and you want to start shutting down the energies for it. Okay, so that tells me, again, you haven't done it in 2023. There's something about you that's actively putting that off until later in the year. You're going to cut loose... The loose cups, the non-committed cups, the confusion cups, da, 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 da. and that's why I see you resisting new love until you've had an opportunity to clean your house, your romantic house, if you will, your options. Which, by the way, options aren't that great when you are one, <laughs> okay? Or they just remain options. No particular cup is speaking to you in any particular direction that says it's solid and that it's there and it's going to show up consistently or has a full heart. So I see you first knocking out these things. Okay? Anything that was competition in the heart space, those loose ends. And then when that cup is cleaned up, your personal sense of moving forward in love, when that's cleaned up, that's when you actually take it seriously, moving forward to new love. Knight of Cups and the Fool, you seem to open up beautifully after the resistance. So I don't see you being interested in developing your cup straight away in the beginning of the year. I don't. No. You're saying I don't have the space. I haven't cut these out yet. <laughs> and then I can take it seriously. So whatever is in play here, you can't take it seriously or it doesn't take you seriously. So I don't know how many people are in there, honey. I mean, I guess it's pretty easy to accumulate some broken, fragmented, non-committal Seven of Cups. I wouldn't know. That's not how I live life. But <laughs> that doesn't mean it's not true for some of you. <laughs> well, I'm, this is, I imagine that this is, well, I kind of talked to that person. But it's not anything. And I kind of see that person once a week. But, you know, the feelings, it's just, I'm not feeling the chemistry. But I still kind of sometimes see them. And then there's that one person that sometimes, I don't know, there's something there. And then it, do you see what I'm saying? I think that's the Capricorn I'm looking at. It's not an accusation because you're not taking any of these cups seriously. You don't seem to be in love with any of them and you don't think it's possible to receive it in return. It's, it's too wishy-washy, hot and cold. It's not consistent. But you haven't dismissed them yet. That's late. That's, that's, we're talking February, March. <laughs> so no, it would stand a reason. You don't want anyone to activate your heart space in that way. Cause you, you're going to, I'm trying to find a way of saying you're going to get rid of them in a nice way. And I can't quite do that. So of course you're defending your cup. You don't want them to develop any more there. And then once that's cleaned out, if you will, that's when you kind of move yourself forward in a way that's much bolder with a much more positive disposition for romance and vulnerability and the expressions of love, where you actually see yourself taking a healthy risk in love. Okay, um, you're not free to. So, I like your Ace of Swords. I think how you opened up with the new year is telling me how you're approaching everything else. Again, refer back to point A. Like I said, yours tend to be extremely efficient. I'm the one who probably made it go on longer than it needed to. <laughs> Just trying to understand it from my point of view. Because I, I don't understand, Akeem, I just don't. I, I, I know that there are people who operate like, it's not a judgment. It's just because I don't understand it doesn't mean it's someone else's reality. I don't accumulate loose, small, maybe it will, maybe it won't connections. It either is or it isn't. That's it. That's it. I don't. So some of you have built up quite the little collection of small cups that don't really do it for you, but you've, you've kept them hanging on a little bit. Maybe you thought it would one day, that it would be something stronger, but none of them do. 
and that's that's the thing, honey. That's the thing about Ace of Wands. Know what's worth putting your energy and passion into. What you should be fired up for. And none of these were ever really hit in your heart the right way. You were never really fired up for them. So what did that tell you, right? Like I said, you're gonna get rid of anything that was lukewarm and under, because you want something that is more than warm. Okay. Uh, you got to know that. But, and you have to make space for it. You have to make space in your heart. You can't have all these loose connections running around thinking maybe one day it will mean something more. No. If it was going to, it would have shaped up that way by now, don't you think? You know the difference between persistence and... Well, this is just stupid. Yeah? Again, not a knock on Capricorn. All signs have pros and cons. All. No exception. And you're... Well-known characteristic of persistence can easily cross into the realm of, well, this is just stupid. Why am I keep doing this? You know. You don't need to hold on to that stuff. Doesn't look very valuable. All right. What's going on, please? Mm -hmm. We haven't, for some of you, you are looking for the Divine Feminine and you haven't found that. Okay. The Divine Feminine, more or less, is the Empress equivalent. Okay, someone of high rank, high value, um, our forever partner. Okay, we have not found this. Some of you, you want to be the Divine Feminine, but you feel like that has not been activated with anybody special. Okay? There you go. All right. Well, we had a spiritual awakening. I can see that with your dedication to your own opening here and with the new year you intend it to look like for you. Making 2024 work for you. Yes, yes, I like it, I do. There's an unexpected message, facade beliefs, winter. Ah, interesting, here we go, here we go. There's that mask and bullshit and I'm not sure. There it is. If some of you, you started to understand this process about how Holding on to these little loose connections, maybe that means something one day. You, you understood that was anti-energy. It was just draining you because collectively it doesn't mean anything when you put all the pieces together. You're right. It should come down to one cup and it either works for you or it doesn't. Um, your energy can either be consolidated in one direction or it's not going to be, right? And some of you have come to terms with that. We had some sort of message or awakening, a spiritual awakening in a message about how we've been perceiving ourselves, where our energy is going to and why, and how we've kind of had false beliefs. Well, if I just have a little bit of everything, I can't miss out. No, that's not true. You just end up missing out on consolidated energy to focus on one thing that could actually be of importance as opposed to holding on to a bunch of little shit that doesn't amount to a hill of beans. So some of you had that awakening here in winter, and thus I'm seeing you kick off the new year with a much stronger focus of self and wish fulfillment and what does that mean, right? We had a strong understanding and or insight about this that is also in line with your Ace of Pentacles and your process in dealing with these little micro love energies, if you will, for lack of better words. I, guess. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I can't entertain cups like that, man. I just, I just can't. I just, it, to me, that would feel really weird. It's like, oh, I could reach into my pocket and grab this one and this one. Ew. I don't know. To me, it just seems like a, such a a loss of, of good, healthy energy, you know. And think about it. If you don't want anyone to entertain you, you don't want to do that to other people, right? You know, love isn't about the entertainment industry. I know it seems that way. You look at YouTube and you watch shows and movies and listen to music and it seems like love is just one big entertainment venue. It's the number one seller, love is. It is. They say sex sells. Well, love sells more. Rather the potential of it. And, uh, but that that's not how we want to live life. We want to live life being open and authentic and real and vulnerable. Real vulnerability. Okay. Uh, so I see you transitioning out of stuff that doesn't really fit you. Probably never did. To, um, you know what, I want to experience the real deal. Concentrated effort, concentrated energy. Okay. All right. I hope this helps you. Good job, Capricorn. I did. Overall, good job. You figuring out what's right for you. That's all I want for people. Anybody, anywhere. I just want you to know what's right for you. That's all. I hope this helps you. Put in the comments. Take care. Be well.